Hello and welcome back to Draw with Boba. Today with the Pokemon series, we're going to be drawing Squirtle. We're going to start with the head first and let's start with the eyes before we move on. So for the eyes, we're going to start with an arch. Uh, make sure it's a little bit above uh, towards the top of the paper. It's just going to be a curve like this. Then we're going to just draw a line in the middle. And the other eye is going to be a lot smaller because it's looking away. So just move over to the left about one inch. And then we're going to draw a line up. And it's just going to be a small line on the side. Once your eye is complete, we're going to draw the inside of the eye. It's going to be a circle on the top right here. And then a line on the side. And then finally, the black part in the middle, which we could color in. On the other side, we're going to do a small circle also. And then the black part. Which should touch on the right side because it's looking away at it from us. Once we're done with that, we're going to draw the mouth all the way up to the head. So for the mouth, we're going to start right here, right below the eye. And we're just going to go a simple line out like this. And then continue with a little small curve. And we're going to loop around all the way to about an inch to the right here. It's just going to be a curve all the way through. So we're just going to take it slow. and up and then for the top of the eye it's going to be from here we're going to just go a notch up and then we're going to do a curve to connect and to squirtle has a pretty round head so just make sure it's a little bit rounded as you go around like that and now we just need the mouth the mouth is quite simple from the cheek on this side we're just going to draw a line across and then do a V and then line across and up. We just need to two nostrils. It's going to be one right here and one on the other side. And the eyebrows. It's going to be two simple lines. One right here, and one on the other side. So that completes the head of Squirtle. And now we could draw in the rest of the body. I'm going to start from a little bit down where the chin is, right below the mouth, right here. And we're going to go down all the way to here and just going to be a curve for the body. So we're going to just go from here and curve down. And then we're going to continue the curve to around here. We want to stop here because that's where the feet is going to be. Let's put in the feet right now before we forget. It's just going to be a curve up and around to this point. And then we're just going to draw the two sides. One right here. One right here. And all we need is the toes. It's going to be three loops one two three that is one foot now let's do the other side it's going to be right around here we're just going to go down a little bit to this point like so and then we're going to repeat on the other side we're going to be right around here and then it's going to connect right where this belly is and it's just going to be another simple curve down like that and then we just need the three toes again. It's going to look different from this side, so follow along. It's just going to be these triangles, but we don't complete the triangle. We're just layering the triangle down to complete the foot. Like that. And that's the other foot. And then let's do the arms before we add the shell and tail. So for the top of the, let's say his right arm, we're going to start right where the neck is 
right above the body and we're just going to go down to this point right here it's just going to be a simple line like this and then it's going to be two fingers so it's going to be one two and then we're going to connect to the body around this point continue and then we just need to add the thumb for this hand and it's going to be right in the middle like that and on the other side we're just going to add the other arm it's going to start right let's say below the mouth line right here and we're just going to go simple line down well, like that once you're done with that we're going to draw the thumb it's just going to be a spike out like that and then for the rest of our arm it's going to be a round shape so we're just going to go from this point draw a loop right there and then connect it to this point so it's going to be a loop like that and then we just need the two fingers that's left on his, I believe his left arm. It's just gonna be two spikes, one right here, and one right here. So he has both legs, both arms. Now we just need the shell and tail and then finally the details. For the shell, we're gonna start from right below the arm right here, and we can connect it to this point right here in the foot. So it's gonna be curved like this. And then for the back of the shell, let's start right behind the head, right here, and then go all the way down to the upper foot. And it's just going to be a curve. So watch before we go. It's just going to be a curve like this. And that's the outside of the shell. And we're going to follow the inner detail of this line. And we're going to draw in the white part of the shell. Like so. And finally, we just have the tail left. Tail is just going to be a rounded shape. We're going to start from the middle of the foot. Draw a loop like this. We're going to start where the shell meets the foot. And draw a loop up. And we're just going to connect it with a round shape. Like that. And then now we just need the details and we'll have a completed squirtle. On this side, it's just going to be a swirl. So just a simple swirl like this. And for the shell, we just need two lines. We're going to start from here and meet right here, right there. And then on the top, it will be from here down. Once you're done with that detail, we're going to move over to the stomach detail. This could be a couple of lines, but pretty simple. We're just going to draw a U right below the chin. A line straight down from the middle to this point. And then we're going to add two lines on either side. Let's connect that real quick. A line right in the middle, but don't go all the way across. We're going to start from here and stop right here. We're going to go across and then we're just going to do the similar thing on the bottom. We're going to connect the two sides. One, two, one, two. I believe that's all the details we need for your completed squirtle. And then we're just going to add some color. And there you go. Squirtle for Pokemon. Thank you for watching. And feel free to subscribe and like if you like the video. See you next time.